My dear students, welcome to week three of unit two. Um, and this week we are going to continue talking about Dark They Were and Golden Eyed. Uh, in this lesson, you're going to read and answer comprehension questions. You're going to recognize the literary devices in the text. In our word wall, our words are comprehension, clues, simile, metaphor, personification, literary devices, characters, and oxymoron. Of course, you're going to listen to a summary of Dark They Were and Golden Eyed, and you're going to uh, click on the picture to take you to an activity related to the text. We're going to discuss more about literary devices, onomatopoeia, personification, simile, metaphor, and you are going to, uh, to do an interactive activity where you will search for sentences from the text that have or that use the literary devices, and you're going to write the sentences and the device used in these sentences. Of course, you will have further practice. For the challenging question, I would like to, to describe Harry's wife's character. Uh, I want you to write four characteristics on your notebook about her. And of course, you will have a self-assessment quiz. For what to do tomorrow, uh, you will have an assignment where you write three sentences using the following literary devices, metaphor, simile, and personification. These sentences are uh, your own sentences. You need to uh, write them by yourself. And please, you need to write them on your notebook uh, to bring them the next day. For day two, you, we are going to continue reading and annotating, and we are going to determine characters' traits. For the word wall, we have, will have a summary, ending, predictions, lieutenant, and science fiction. We're going to watch a video about Dark They Were in Golden Eye by Ray Bradbury. You will have an activity related to the text. You will have another video that talks about character traits, and we're going to analyze each character in our uh, text. Then you will have another interactive activity related to the character traits. Further practice again about character traits. Now, for the challenging question in your notebook, you are going to write the difference between Harry's and other settlers' characters. Of course, there is a self-assessment. This one is a comprehension assessment about that dark they were and golden eyed. And then you are going to click on the picture, listen to the summary, and you are going to do questions one, two, and three in your comprehension check. Uh, page 148. Let me fix this. Uh -huh. I can't wait to start this, uh, this week with you and finish this interesting, interesting uh, story with you guys. Now, for day three, we're going to start with our opinion essay, which is going to be in your formative and summative assessment. We're going to explore opinion writing examples, and we're going to recognize an opinion essay. The word wall will include opinion essay, agreeing, disagreeing, giving opinion, giving information or explanations, giving reasons, giving examples, comparing and contrasting ideas and opinions, and drawing conclusions. You're going to watch a video about uh, opinion essay examples, and you will have an activity related to that. And then we are going to start by talking about how to write an opinion essay. Of course, this class is going to be an introduction of an opinion essay, and then you are going to uh, have an, um, an activity related to that. Of course, in the further practice, I deliberately used this picture because I wanted you to look at 
the connectors in an opinion essay, like however, partly, I fully agree, although, in addition to this, I'm sorry, I partly agree, firstly, secondly, thirdly, moreover, consequently, in conclusion, I firmly believe another reason as a result, I personally feel all of these are connectors that you can use in your uh, opinion essay. And the challenging questions I would like you to write, the features of an opinion essay, you will have a self-assessment quiz related to our topic, and um, there is an activity for what to do tomorrow, while, where you revise everything we took to prepare for the next class. Now for lesson four in week three of unit two, you're going to recognize the Peel model, and then you're going to draft your introduction. For our word wall, we have Peel model, introduction, point, topic sentence, explanation, evidence, examples, and link. You're going to watch a video about Peel uh, uh, approach uh, and about, about opinion essay, and then you will have an activity related to that. Then we will have a video that talks about how to write an opinion essay introduction. And then you will have um, a link where all of you are going to write an introduction and I am going to give you an instant feedback on it. You will have further practice for the challenging question. I wanted to know or to ask you, how many paragraphs should be uh, in an opinion essay? You will have a self-assessment quiz. And after that, for the what to do tomorrow, you're going to start drafting your first body paragraph. Remember to follow your Peel model. Um, this week is going to be uh, fruitful and beneficial, inshallah. Um, I can't wait to start it with you guys. Um, on Thursday, we will have a parents-teacher meeting. Have a great week.